Yeah, so basically we're talking how AMD just... I don't know if it's just that hard for stock issues and they're just trying to hide the fact. I'm assuming these companies are just trying to like keep on keeping on and just hope that things will start settling out before things fall apart. But, um, you know, it is what it is. I mean, well, and they, they're relying on someone to actually make manufacture yeah. the cards for it's, them. Yeah, so it's I not like, it. dry, and it's just probably <laughs> COVID related. Like stuff's just, you can't make anything right now without having issues or factors are shutting down, delays and everything. So it's kind of a mess. I don't know if this is going to work right away. Oh, nope. All right, so uh, this is a news article. This is kind of just a way to show a backstory of what we're talking about here. But long story short, it just looks like AMD uh, just did not have the supply that they were supposed to. Um, I know when we were doing our original news topics, we were just talking about how AMD might be a little bit ahead in terms of all the hype that they were talking about, how they'll have more inventory, mm -hmm. things will be in stock. Obviously, you all realized it wasn't the case on launch day when it just disappeared um but basically from what we're reading and hearing in multiple news articles is retailers are just not getting any cards yeah uh, i remember the, the article that i had read was it was a danish retailer thank you for the thank what you man name? i like how I oh it's white oh yeah um so yeah the article was saying that a danish retailer they actually sent screenshots basically saying they had 4700 orders um for the 40 or sorry 6800 XT and the 6800 X or 6800 um, and they only AMD was only sending out 22 cards to fulfill those orders so I'm not saying they're not going to do it but basically um, for that many orders they were only able to send a few cards yeah and that's uh, kind of the trend I mean they sent out the cards they got the hype up and everything and it's just hard for them to fulfill things so um, at the end of the day, I mean, it's really going to just be a waiting period until you can actually get the cards. But I don't really like how these companies are not really talking about it. Yeah. Um, they're kind of just like going under the impression that eventually the stock will come in and everything will be fixed. But they're just not saying anything at all. Um, they're just kind of sending stuff out to retailers. And we're having to find out from behind the scenes, these retailers directly, that we're only that they're only distributing like a fraction of what they need to be distributing. <laughs> You said his local retailer is 30 or 3000 series, all 3090s around 2200 Canadian. That's 2200 uh, Canadian. That's, that's close to what it should be. Um, but uh, I think the invent because I think Nvidia has a slight advantage here because they've been to market longer, mm -hmm. so they might already have a little bit more of a backlog. But I don't know how long AMD's been producing their cars. That makes sense too, though. If, if AMD chips, like if they are using. And the, the same consoles. factories, yeah, to make those chips, you know? I mean, that would make a lot of sense because the consoles yeah. you can't get right now anyways yeah, that, either. that'd be true also. Um, um, you want to say, do you have the uh, any of the other, 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 the other, <laughs> the other article for an NVIDIA pulled up? Nvidia, no. Yeah, NVIDIA is on some other shit. I mean, AMD just seems like they're just having trouble. Um, and NVIDIA, on the other hand, there's been leaks, and I'm sure you guys have seen them. About the mining? Is our yeah, they're saying that... And Nvidia sent over like I think it's 175 million dollars yeah. worth of cards, the new RTX cards for miners and not like little children, but mm -hmm. like crypto miners. Um, and that is a lot of people pretty pissed off if that's true because um, I mean yeah, they're they're literally like taking away from the single hand gaming market, and sending yeah. hundreds of cards to these single people to mine with. Yeah, I've noticed um, if you have a direct contact with Nvidia through their like sales department, you can get samples of 30s and 3090s. I know, for example, I follow Power GPU on Twitter. He's a really well established PC and in system integrator, and he's able to get samples from Nvidia that I've seen at least at least like 10, 15, 20 cards here and there that he can use and build. So I'm assuming it falls under the same line here where these miners are having these direct contacts and they probably had these contacts from years ago when the mining yeah. craze was going on and people were going direct <clears throat> to nvidia and nvidia doesn't really seem to be stopping any of these direct sales which should if i was nvidia i'd be like okay our bread and butter is the gaming community why shouldn't i be putting more of my resources directly to places like newegg amazon micro center that are like struggling to get inventory and fulfill orders yeah that doesn't make any sense to i me. think i think that like the people who are mining and stuff need to um, they need to figure it out on their own. Unless yeah. unless there's a large inventory, which there's not, no. um, they need to figure that crap out on their own because, yeah, that's just, like, it's annoying to see that NVIDIA's not even selling their uh, 20 series stuff anymore. You can't find, like, even 1650 Supers or anything like that. And here they are with their new cards that should be in stock, but they have nothing. Like, NVIDIA just has nothing right now. No. I mean, at least... Who's calling? At least, um... What, why? He locked himself out, I bet. Oh, Zach locked himself out. Everyone say bad boy, Zach. 
um 5700 xc is overpriced i've noticed the 5700 xc's are getting expensive because that's a really popular card for crypto and i think we're starting i i know this is like a lot of news like at once but like i think cryptocurrency is starting to become more prevalent again and we're probably gonna have some inventory issues from that also so there's like layers on layers of things going wrong right now that are gonna like make things you know really difficult to buy pc hardware which sucks really does suck um but uh yeah there's a lot of things going on right now that could impact that we got your smoothie. Got a, yeah, it's not more like a. Looks like a shake. Yeah, I don't know. Interesting. I think I got a milkshake yesterday, but this is a smoothie. I didn't. I forgot there's a difference. Yeah. <laughs> um. But uh. Yeah. No. They were just talking about how apparently I, I was looking this morning because I was doing the list for a build going live. Fifty seven hundred XTs are starting to get overpriced now, like in terms of stock on them. Um. And I I told them well, I was like it's a it's becoming like a perfect like terrible <laughs> storm at this point. It was actually painful, Matt, the other day because. Um, yeah, this is bad. As you guys know, we have this new website um, where we're selling PCs and everything. That's okay. But I went order. to try to buy some stuff to back up the builds. Nothing. Like there is literally, I we are I like I looked and I it's like impossible to complete any of the builds that like we have on the website at the moment. Which, which sucks. Is really annoying. Absolutely sucks. Um, for one, the website. Yeah, this is this is really bad. The good news is it's not a problem. Like we've already we keep inventory, yeah. so no, we're not gonna like we don't whatever we've sold on the site, we we have it or it's yes. coming. But it sucks though because once we want to replenish, it's going to be very hard. We're just gonna have to keep doing like one off builds, honestly. Yeah. So that's that's gonna be very annoying. But um, no, I, I just think it's kind of a perfect storm right now. Cryptocurrency is booming, so there's people who are buying cards up now. There's not enough manufacturing to keep up with demand for just general consumers, but now there's a cryptocurrency market. Children are dying, and it's just a, it's just a mess. Yeah, sure. Yeah, there you go. It's just a, it's just a mess. Like everything, it, it points to us not having PC parts in stock for at least a couple more. Like I don't even know now. Like my March estimate, I don't know. I like no, I, I didn't. Well, I don't know if you saw they did. I really don't know if this will make a difference, but yesterday or the day before, it was confirmed that they shipped out like a few planes worth of uh, vaccines to okay. yeah. the U.S. and some other places. Um, however, I think it seemed like normal though, where it goes to like the officials first oh, yeah. and like the healthcare, and then the elderly, and then the. It's gonna take a people. while. It's gonna take several months for everyone in the U.S. who want, who's going to get one to actually get one. It, so. It's pretty sad to see that like the whole reason that everything is to shit right now is because of the virus you know what i mean yeah like it, it's not anyone's fault or anything but it sucks to see that like that is what has like caused everything to go to shit 